Hi there. So a lot of you are asking what really is the big picture out of the first phase of the UP elections. Which way are these elections going? Which side has the momentum? Now if anyone tells you today they have the answer, they are lying. Because remember it's an election that's spread across phases. The fact is that what has happened in the first phase will definitely give you some broader indication, some broader trends. And that's exactly what I'll help you do. And we here at the news that you don't get will help you understand the big picture here. Now, see, first of all, we'll talk about the BJP. The BJP is at a Mount Everest. Now, why I say this? Because in 2017, out of the 58 seats here, they won 53. So when you have a margin like that, when you have a seat share like that, you are here. And when you're at the top, you can either climb upwards, you can go downwards, or you can remain where you are. So what has happened of the BJP? What has the voter decided? That we know only on the 10th of March. On the other side, there is a formidable alliance between Jayant Chaudhary and Akhilesh Yadav who are both looking at uprooting the current Yogi Adityanath government in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now, why do they feel like they have momentum with them? Because they see the same way that the people of the government are doing the same way that the people of the government are doing the same way that the people of the government are doing the same way किसानों की सरकार ने सुनी नहीं उनको जो भी आश्वासन दिए वो पूरे नहीं किए इस वजह से किसान बेल्ट में जो एक शुगर के इन बेल्ट है एक आलू की बेल्ट है स्पेशली इन वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश डेट विल वोट इन देयर फेवर सो हैज डेट हैपन डस द गठबंधन हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ मोमेंटम अगेन दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी विल नो डेफिनेटली ओनली ऑन द टेंथ ऑफ मार्च बट बिफोर दैट एक हल्की सी बात आपको बताना चाहती हूँ Western Uttar Pradesh is the most prosperous region in the entire Uttar Pradesh area. This is obviously close uh, to the Delhi NCR region. And an uh, interesting factoid is that you know that NASA sees a lot of pictures on the top. So when you take a picture on the top of the state of Uttar Pradesh, the most light lights are in which area you know? That's the Western UP belt. Just an interesting factoid. अब वापस आते हैं कि what does the first phase data really tell us? एक fact है कि higher turnout has been reported in villages in the rural belt and western UP में this rural belt is traditionally again comprised of the farmers, the jats, the gujars, which is said to be again the traditional voting base of the Samajwadi party. So does this mean that there has been a favorable movement in terms and for the Gadbandan? We'll have to wait and see. Urban vote, jo hai, jo urban pockets, hai, par the voting has been subdued. This means that in which way, in which way, in which way, in which way, Bhajapa wants to say that their voters, why am I saying their voters? Because usually in urban pockets, mein, uh, the people who are living there are considered to be the core vote of the BJP, the middle class, the upper middle class. Uh, you know, these are people again traditionally who have voted for the BJP. Again, these are very traditional figures that we are quoting, traditional facts. So, the urban vote has been a little subdued. Is this bad news for the BJP? We'll have to wait and see. Nine ministers, nine ministers this time are those who were contesting in Western Uttar Pradesh. Now, again, I've spoken to a lot of people on ground, a lot of reporters, and there is, you know, some bit of sense that perhaps some of them could be in a tight spot. Now, a minister in a tight spot otherwise is no news. But when it is a news in, is, is when a number of your ministers perhaps could be in trouble. They could be in for a tight context. When that happens, does this talk of an anti-incumbency? I leave that thought in your mind. Next, there hasn't been much of a conversation on the Congress. I, I didn't hear, I didn't see a lot of people speaking about the Congress. So does this mean that the Congress has largely been ineffective? Now, see, Western Uttar Pradesh ki jo belt hai na, waise bhi yaha par Congress ka bohat zada hold nahi hai. But what is the traction for the Congress party? I think we'll know that in the phases to come. 
बीएसपी द बहुजन समाज पार्टी नाउ देर इज यू नो देर इज अ स्कूल ऑफ थॉट दैट टेल्स यू दैट मायावती इज नो वेयर इन द फाइव बहन जी कहीं है ही नहीं अब एक साइड ये कहता है कि आप उन्हें इग्नोर करते हैं आप बहन जी की बात नहीं करते हैं लेकिन बहन जी इज वेरी मच देर शी इज इन देर फॉर अ फाइट सो आई एम टेलिंग यू बोथ साइड्स बिकॉज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो नाउ दिस एरिया ऑफ वेस्टर्न उत्तर प्रदेश अगेन हैज अ कंसिडरेबल परसेंटेज ऑफ द जाटा वोट्स जाटा वोट अगेन इज समथिंग दैट हैज बीन द ट्रेडिशनल वोट ऑफ द बी एस पी ऑफ बहन जी but there is also an indication that we could have possibly seen some bit of split some bit of split in this jata vote ab agar behen ji ka ek vote hai aur behen ji ka ye vote split hota hai yani ki bad jata hai to wo kis side gaya hai kya wo bhajpa ke paas gaya hai ya wo vote akhilesh aur rld combine ke paas gaya hai ab dekhiye akhilesh ne bhi apni taraf se koshish ki thi to reach out to that particular vote bank has that worked again this is something that you will know only on the 10th of march but yes important for you to understand the big picture uske baad uske baad main aapko ek interesting cheez batana chahti hu i i saw the data for three elections 2012 2017 and 2022 Now, why are these three sort of elections important? If you recall, 2017 was that wave election, just when the BJP swept the state of Uttar Pradesh, picking up 300 plus out of the 403 seats, a result that many in the BJP were also not expecting. Now, because that was a wave election, but if you compare what happened in 2012 to the first phase of 2022. Ab I have realized an interesting thing, and uh, in case you disagree with me, in the comment section below you can let me know. And if you have another interpretation of this data, uh, I would love to hear that and understand your perspective also. But in 2022, the voting has been less than what it was in 2012. Yani ki 2022 ka jo pehla phase Uttar Pradesh mein conclude hua hai. उसमें जो वोटिंग हुई है वो 2012 के मुकाबले कम है अब ऐसे दो एरियाज हैं दो एरियाज मैंने जो पूरी लिस्ट देखी जिसमें वोटिंग ज्यादा है 2012 के मुकाबले नाउ व्हाट आर दीज टू एरियाज वन इज बागपत द अदर इज मुजफ्फरनगर बागपत एंड मुजफ्फरनगर इन बोथ द एरियाज यू हैव सीन अ स्पाइक इन वोटिंग इन द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ ट्वेंटी elections vis-a-vis what happened in 2012 so why why are these two areas important again i'll just give you a little information here dekhiye bagpat is the stronghold of the rld of jain chaudhary wahan par increase dekha gaya hai is baar muzaffarnagar you know the politics about it you know what happened in 2013 so both these areas have seen a spike I am again going to let you absorb that and figure out कि इसका क्या मतलब हो सकता है Because clearly, remember in elections, uh, you know everything is not just limited to the data. I think elections are also foreign perceptions. जैसे कहते हैं ना एक माहौल बनाने की कोशिश है. तो इन फिगर से या इन इंटरप्रिटेशन से क्या मतलब है आई थिंक अब ये आने वाले फेजेस में और क्लियर होगा और अगर कोई पर्टिकुलर ट्रेंड है तो वो सॉलिडिफाई होगा यानी कि वो ट्रेंड आपको बार बार दिखता नजर आएगा वो ट्रेंड और मजबूत होगा सो दैट अगेन विल बी रिफ्लेक्टिव ऑफ यू नो अ पर्टिकुलर वोट पैटर्न दैट यू माइट सी और माइट नॉट सी देन आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू one very important thing a lot of people have asked whether there is an overarching theme because in any election you know usually especially we've seen this in the lok sabha elections ki there is one big thing there is an overarching theme uh, something that i think goes over every other issue that you see in election so is there an overarching theme in this election i would say we don't see that yet we don't see that yet according to my own reading this is more of a localized election you know an election that really is being fought on local issues 
a lot of emphasis. That is why you've seen from different political parties that has been put on candidate selection. Yani candidate selection ko lekar bahut emphasis almost tamam political parties ne diya hai. Ab chahe wo Behen ji ho, chahe wo Samajwadi Party aur Jain Chaudhary ho. चाहे वो कांग्रेस पार्टी भी हो आपने देखा ये कई जगह जो जातीय समीकरण है जिसको कहा जाता है कास्ट इक्वेशन इन इंग्लिश दैर आई थिंक हैज बीन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द माइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट नेताज ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज एज दे डिसाइडेड देयर कैंडिडेट्स ड्यूरिंग द इलेक्शन सो डस दिस मीन दैट दिस इलेक्शन इज एक्चुअली बींग फॉट ऑन यू नो कास्ट इक्वेशन ऑन दैट कास्ट मैथमेटिक्स अगेन एज आई सेट वील हैव टू सी दिस but this is something that is getting relatively very very clear now this is about phase 1 ab abhi tak dekhiye there were a lot of restrictions because of the pandemic a lot of physical rallies were not happening but you saw the prime minister you know going ahead with that first physical rally yesterday you also heard him making out that comment about muslim women about how they were being misinformed and how they were treated like a vote bank there is a larger message in what the prime minister has said um though you know um again as i said as a student of political science and as a student of journalism it's important that you be aware of what's happening where so that you know you can begin to connect the dots at the same point you have the entire hijab controversy that's playing out in the state of karnataka <laughs> now will that impact the polling here will that impact the issues here could that be one of the issues on top of people's mind uh, too early to say that but then also this is about phase 1 now what happens in phase 2 a quick insight into this before we end this particular video now the second phase is said to be more demographically favorable to the gadbandar to sprld combined now these are areas of muradabad of bareilly of rampur of bijnor of saharanpur so if there is a momentum that the sp and the rld combined have been able to pick for themselves we will see that repeating and perhaps getting reinforced in the second phase if there is that is and if there isn't we'll have to see how the elections move on from here and because as i said a lot of things will change 14th now is the next phase of elections in the state of uttar pradesh and as i said the prime minister is back in campaign uh, ground of uttar pradesh physical rallies by the prime minister have started to happen how will that impact the voter could that be a game changer the bjp you know would definitely bank on this uh i think the likewise holds true also for akhilesh for jayant for priyanka gandhi and uh, though you know not many people are talking of uh, mayawati but i still believe i still believe that there is that gray area about behenji and you never know you never know which way her vote bank will really move and could that be that the deciding factor in the up elections of uh, 2022 we are keeping a very close eye thank you for watching if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe to it we are looking forward to getting to you news that you don't get but the news that you should get and helping you declutter a lot of stuff that is literally thrown at you whether that is figures whether that is data whether those are reactions but as i said in politics it's important for you to keep your eyes your ears open so that you can understand and make an informed choice thank you for watching